so Rachel, what are the benefits of buying land and building thus far? All right. Um. Construction snow job. So today we are here with Miss Gail and she's going to give us a walkthrough of what she's doing thus far and the results on how she's feeling. So hang tight, stay tuned. It's going to be great. So what are we looking at right now? What you're looking at is um my home. To be. To be that I'm constructing on this lovely property. Alright, can you give us a tour? Sure. Okay, let's go. All right, so right as you can see right now, this is um a part of the land. It's a, a nice little size. We have the border of the the house, so we're gonna construct everything with inside of the border. What is, is the border? The border. Yeah, this is a wooden thing we're looking at. The wooden structure all around the. Okay, for those who don't know. Right, I already right. that a property right now. What is it's, that? It is not the entire property because there is space behind and beside and in the front. Oh, okay, so we're looking at is just it's room just for the construction the of the construction house. construction of the house and everything that involves the house. So even though when you're when they finish the construction, there will still be some form of yard space still left inside of the border okay so this thing i'm looking at right there with that, that hole in the ground what is that this is the pit this is where the pit is gonna be it's called a soak away soak away right so, so any water from inside of the house is going to come that is your bathroom your washing your dishwashing anything you do in the house is going to come through come all the way down to here but there's going to also be a septic tank right here so you're going to come through the septic and then it goes to the pit, which is a soak away. So in the future, if I need to draw what people normally say, draw a pit, you would draw it from the septic, make it much easier. Did you know of this before you started your construction? Actually, no. So you learned um, while you're doing it? I'm, I'm learning as I go along. Okay, awesome. So Rachel, what are the benefits of buying land and building thus far? All right. Um, the benefits I say about it, I always say it's more house for the money. So you find that um, that is it. More house for the money. What does that mean? And you more house for the money is basically um, for now if you go on the open market and you choose to buy something from a developer, they might give you a small space for like 13, 14 million. If you put that 13, 14 million into purchasing of a, a nice land in a nice area and building, you will have the opportunity to expand on your space design the property how you want it to be designed and at the end of the day you might also find yourself with a lot of yard space that you can reuse in the future for whatever reason you might want to all right uh -huh. so what are we looking at now what is the, where are we standing now what is this you're standing in the yard in a the section yard. of the yard that is also going to hold the septic tank okay that's where we, are now. where we are now right and as I said before, the septic tank is going to go into the pit. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Do you recommend individuals to buy land and build? I would. I Why? would. Um, reason being, if you are the type of person who, who wants to do your own thing, want to have your own design, want to have your space, want to have your peace of mind and you want to be in an area that you really want i would i would encourage anybody at all to do it especially if your money is small so question did you choose this rocket terrain um on purpose or you just bought what you could find no i i visited the area to look for one of a friend of mine some time ago and somehow I just fell in love with it. It was a country feel that you get. Something that I always wanted. And seeing that I had purchased before in a scheme. And I didn't really like how that was panning out. I decided that um, I would purchase and build. So when I saw the area, I fell in love with it. And um, I met upon this piece of land here by 
what you would say, mere miracle. Not coincidence, but miracle. And um, I did not know at the time that I had so much rocks. I know that I had dirt. I didn't know how much rocks. But at the end of the day, I am still grateful. I have rocks and I have dirt and I'm good. <laughs> All right. So in your opinion, would you say it is cheaper to buy land and build or to just buy a home? With all fairness, it's always cheaper to just buy a home. The, the, um, buying a home, you get, you, get, you get something immediate. It's ready and waiting. Buying a land to build, it comes with time and patience. And at times, frustration. So it really depends really on what you desire, what you really want. But um, going for the home, if you want something ready done, jump at it now all what right. are you constructing here all right this is a two car garage two car garage two car garage um living kitchen bedroom bathroom so you're looking at what is to be a two bedroom two bath with your little closet along with your kitchen your living area and the garage awesome Question. So for persons who know nothing about construction, what would you recommend? What I would recommend for persons who do not know anything about construction. First, go to God in prayer. Secondly, do a little bit of reading and research. And third, please surround yourself with people who have your best interests of heart heart. Because you're going to need all of those on your journey to building. You need people that you can trust, people you can rely on. You need support. And of course, you need money and a very good contract. And I recommend mine, Mr. Richie. <laughs> Mr. Big Up your Advisor. Big, and Big Up My Advisor, <laughs> of course, who bought him to me. Thank God. Did you always want to buy and build? No. No, I didn't. My first journey was in a scheme. I had purchased a unit in a scheme. But after living there, I realized that was not what I wanted. So I decided to um, do this. And so this was my second option. And are you happy with the results of the construction thus far? Quite, yes. I am. I really am. And I'm praying for more favor of God upon me as I continue the journey. It's a wonderful thing, actually. And especially if you put in the work, I mean literal work you will understand the benefits of it at, at the end of it. Okay, bonus question. What's the hardest part of the construction thus far? Not knowing when the next dollar going to surface. So if you're a trying person like me, and you're doing your best to, to have home ownership, and you're not really sure how all the funds going to come in, because I have had... A, a lot of obstacles and a lot of adjustments and those obstacles and adjustments come with dollar sign so that has been the hardest part not knowing how i'm going to overcome those obstacles with the dollar sign how hard was it for you to find the perfect or suitable spot for you to build all right um it was very difficult you first you try the newspapers then you try the websites then you try the agencies which give you a run around because you have to be doing biddings and it's like if you don't know somebody and if your money not up on par it is quite difficult so for me i had gotten frustration frustrated with all those um avenues so i decided to drive so i found i decided to drive yes so i found like any area that i think i might be interested in and i would put gas in my car and i would drive around drive just drive the area and then i would look for this the signs so if there is a realtor sign i snapped with i take a picture of it and then i go to work monday morning and i did well i shouldn't say that but i got i go to work and i make all my calls <laughs> during my lunch time right i do all my calls that time and just to see what what who will answer and who will basically respond to me favorably for this one when i found it i had a bit of challenge with the um realtor at the time because he had so much doing 
and he didn't have the time to actually come and meet me and take me to the property um person to for us to talk about it really so when i got upset with him that's when he moved and this is the result of all of that journey what is the cost like to prepare the land thus far with all the rocks all right for the preparation of the land that that that's a pretty penny mm. i think i might have exceeded a million or maybe very close to a million if i haven't already exceeded it the preparation of the land first you have to think about chopping out the land and that comes at a cost but before you continue were you expecting that or was it something no less? it was not something that i i expected trouble i never expected so much trouble if you understand what i mean mm. um you chopping out the land is one thing but when you chop out the land and the cost to chop out the land alone is is a pretty penny then you have um and because when after the land is chopped out then you realize what you're actually working with and that's when you get to see the real terrain of the land what it is like and how you're going to move ahead we had to get what is called an excavator with a jackhammer the man was supposed to be here for two days he spent four and a half days ching 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 you know the money adds up and even after all that was done in 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 during his um breaking down of the rocks there was a section of the property once he touched that rock everything went down so that is another unexpected um cost and event which basically took the, the project in a all in a new area so you had adjustments so it, it really cost a lot and as i said before the frustrated part of it is wondering where you're going to find the money to fill those fill those backlogs or not even backlogs it's these new new things that just come on come on you the surprise okay. mm -hmm. so how hard was it for you to find a contractor and thereafter how did you know that you could trust him it was pretty difficult to find somebody to work with um trust in any relationship is basically a, the, the, the basis for growth right so um i had somebody before i actually found this contractor and the minute he was here and he seemed like a trustworthy person until i realized that the first laying out of the house cost way more than he had initially said after he had done the work so i had to get rid of him um sitting in limbo for a while trying to figure out where i am to go and that's why i said when you're constructing you need good people around you that you can support i came across my contractor through mr adrian ilton he's a person who basically um found this gentleman and took him to me and um after speaking to the gentleman and he assessed the thing he was very much re real in what he was doing he bring it back down to reality and from there you know you watch him a little bit you see what he's doing and then you started to determine in your mind if this person is trustworthy and so far he has proven to be but um it became much easier to to start accepting the contractor because of who took the contractor to me okay. and initially when you saw this plot of land did you have a vision that you wanted to work with versus with the excavation of the rocks and all has that changed your vision for the home certainly oh god everybody when they buy one piece of land want a big house <laughs> who don't want a big house guys you should see my plan it's elaborate it's a wonderful nice house all the plans i had but as i said with the unforeseen circumstances and changes you have to take a step back and you you breathe a little again let me say for those who have the money it is going to be easy for them to get what they want for persons who don't have their money and especially have to go through the nht you're going to have to come back down to reality you're going to have to see what is what is what you can do and what your money can do and that's when you're going to have to reevaluate the situation and know say okay this is what i can get now and then i'll take my time in the future and get my dream so thank you so much for the information anything else that they may ask in the comment section i will definitely relay them to you so thank you and thank you guys for joining in tuning in whatever the jamaican call it and i wish you all the best on your construction for those who bought them too and have to change them contractor for those who want a contractor give me a call i'll just give you mine mm -hmm.